I just discovered some new plugins. Well, they are new for me. Probably because I've been living under a rock for a few years because I didn't know about them. But they are awesome and they are free. So let's check them out. In the mess of building my new home studio, I also changed computer. And I decided to make a clean install. I mean, install everything from the beginning. Because I hope that my file structure will get better that way. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyway. It's a lot of work. And some of my plugins don't work anymore. Some plugins I have to buy their new version of to get them to work with my new M1 processor. And I was a bit annoyed, but I found some new plugins with your help. They are called Analog Obsession, and they are fantastic. Let's listen to how they sound. I made a quick mix of the Roger That Song of 2021 with only Analog Obsession plugins. It sounds like this. The only thing I know. Let me show you a little bit of what I've done. I said only Analog Obsession plugins, except for Logic's Gain plugin, which I use just to flip the face. Otherwise, it's only Analog Obsession. If I go into the that folder of Analog Obsession, you can see there's a bunch of plugins. I haven't downloaded all of them, but there's still a lot. I can mix a record with only these plugins. If I'm, maybe I need a delay and another reverb. Otherwise, I can use only these plugins. And they are that good. So on the drums, I only I chose SSQ from Analog Obsession. It looks like a console EQ from a British console. Real life is sort of that loudness knob you had on your hi-fi equipment. Uh, Juice sparingly, it was nice. DB comp, I wonder what that could be an emulation of. I'm not sure. Uh, I used uh, Very Moon. This is sort of a fashile compressor. And they also have MS in a lot of their plugins. But let's, lis let's listen to the drums first without the analog obsession plugins, and then I will put them in. So, first without. That's how they sound, and they also have a reverb. They say it's a room reverb. I like to think of it as a plate reverb more. It sounds more like a plate. I have it on my overhead and on my snare drum a little bit. I will exaggerate it so you can hear it. It sounds dirty in a good way, in my opinion. Uh, they have some guitar amplifiers. I put one on my bass. I cloned the bass. I cloned. I just copied the bass track. So I have one clean bass track that sounds like this. And then I just copied that track and put pedals. This is sort of a five-in-one drive pedal with five different settings and also a guitar amplifier with very simple hue. Uh, now that track sounds like this. And it's blended in together with the original bass, so in context you can't hear the distortion really, it just makes the bass fatter. They also have a de which I used on the vocal, a FET compressor, like an 1176, really, really good, with a slam function, uh, a channel strip, looks like a console channel strip with mic pre, de equalizer, compressor, and limiter. Uh, 
that was uh, and this one yes this is what you suggested I, w- I should check out this is a Pultec EQ style and it sounds wonderful especially the top end the top end is silky smooth never harsh it just lifts the treble lifts the air above the signal you're you're putting it on maybe it doesn't have the big huge transformer sound you get from soft tube uad waves but the eq sounds wonderful let me play with that a little bit on the vocals so you can hear what i mean i will just uh, solo the vocal and i will get rid of the boost on the top and then raise it so you can hear the only thing i know is that i don't know enough at all everywhere i go it just gets shinier without getting harsh i love this plugin really love it uh, and then I have a compressor, another compressor on it. One thing that was really cool is that they have this, a console emulation with an input and output. And you can distort this input uh, knob as well. You can change from bus to track, three different console settings. I don't know which consoles are emulated. Gray, blue and black. And then also XFMR, which is the transformer. I put this on my stems just to glue the mix a little bit together. And if you click the analogous session name, they introduce uh, oversampling. Really good on distortion plugin and also sometimes compressor plugins to get rid of aliasing. So simple and genius. Uh, on my master bus, I have this Pultec again. I have an SSL style compressor and also a Bax Endel EQ, all from Analog Obsession. Let's play the mix without the plugins and then I will put them in. The only thing I know is that I don't know. So there you have the Analog Obsession plugins. They are awesome. And if you go to their website, you click on the link to go to their Patreon. There you will find all the plugins free for you to download. Or you can become a patron so they will get a little money for the work they've done. My recommendation is that you become a patron, maybe for a few months, and then you can cancel your subscription. Then you have sort of paid a little bit for these great plugins. The Swedish word of today should be obsession. Obsession in Swedish is besatthet. Besatthet. Try to say that a few times in a row. Until next time, Roger that.